the blood that pulses through the veins that is this city, the water mm -hmm. of the Mississippi River, including the legendary Baptiste family. Damon Baptiste here with us. How you doing? Oh, good morning. Just um, really shocked, man. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. in disbelief, mm -hmm. actually, uh, to walk here uh, with all the, you know, just got the joke for Eric. I said, Eric, you have to you have, to, you have to be bigger than Taylor Swift this weekend. <laughs> you <know? laughs> he would have loved that. Yeah, he I mean, because he that. always found the silver lining uh -huh. in everything. Uh -huh. yeah, and we had a special, did. special relationship that I could just talk to him, you know, like, um, mm -hmm. the, the biggest regret I have is that Eric and my brother Russell were the only two people mm -hmm. that ha have not made it to South Africa with me. I've been there 88 mm -hmm. times in the last 26 years. Mm -hmm. And he always would tell me, you know, mm -hmm. he was gonna come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you did get to Cuba with him. Uh, he went to Cuba with Trombone Shaw and his oh, band. Oh, okay. Went, and I he thought went you to, were there. I apologize. He went to uh, France with, uh, well, he went with Robert Robbins. So we had mutual friends that mm -hmm. I worked with, and I actually was promoting. Uh, mm -hmm. I went to you know, Cuba with Trombone Shaw, the first ah, venture. So that's why know. I thought you were with him on that one. Okay. Well, we kind of, I mean, he he really kind of blew up the family locally. You know, yeah. John might have had Stephen Colbert, but we had Eric Paulson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Eric Paulson really, really, you know, mm -hmm. did it for the for the Baptiste brothers, myself, mm -hmm. my international organization, and... Um, Tell us that story, how so? Well, yeah. we were, he was with, uh, we first started with Andrew Trevine, mm -hmm. then Sally Ann, so we were kind of like the community band for WWL. Okay. So, Eric loved music, so he would always call, you know, we would, we would always go on Channel 4, then, then um, my, our relationship, you know, I was uh, his bubba sports guy where I used to read, read the sports. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because nobody wanted to do the sport. He didn't want to do the sports, so no, anybody yeah. could do it. Yeah. 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 So we share that. Anybody. Yeah, I can yeah just, so was right. It was anybody. I was in there, anybody, you know, to read, read the sports every now and then. And, mm -hmm. and then we just um, developed a relationship. Then, you know, I know he was good friends with Amanda Shaw, mm -hmm. James yeah. Andrews, yeah. you know. And then for the Lundy Gras, um, it just, you know, Oliver Thomas was like, who's outside. He, he named, he, you know, declared it my day on Lundy Gras and, and WWL. It was like a family atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And that really helped out Spanish Plaza, Riverwalk. But if not for Eric, that's how I met you guys mm -hmm. because he was like family to us. So when mm -hmm. I walked in, you know, I met you because mm -hmm. of Eric and mm -hmm. you, you guys embraced us. <laughs> and I remember that morning y'all, when we had just started and y'all came yeah. in and it was, it was, it was right after uh, Russell had passed away yes. and mm -hmm. um, it was a Baptiste family reunion here yeah. in the studio and to see how um, Eric, Eric wasn't a reporter. Eric was a member of the family. Well, Eric Paulson but Baptiste. Eric used to yeah. always, right, he always <laughs> asked me to bring in more music. I said, yeah. Eric, you know, you know, I can't get always get all those musicians mm -hmm. early in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a nine pan gig. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we do what we can. But uh, then he called James to, um, uh, James wasn't actually on the bill, but James played the, the, the Lundy Gras morning. Mm -hmm. And from that, there was a, there's more things, more activities that happen out at the riverfront. Mm -hmm. Probably because of, you know, Eric. Mm -hmm. Eric introduced something that's yeah. still going on. <laughs> You know? And Eric and I, I mean, if people remember back, we did Bacchus oh, you know, yeah, and then late then at night then and then it, no sleep, mm -hmm. you know, would turn around from yeah. the morning show outside in the freezing cold. Mm -hmm. And neither one of us thought to bring like a good jacket so, or anything. So I think we, I think we have to um, do probably like a music marathon, something for Eric, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like 24 hours mm -hmm. of constant something, music. Because yeah. he just loved music so much. Yeah. He loved it. And he was all, he used to always ask about one of my uncles, mm -hmm. that son, that son is famous on, on CBS, you know, the, the uh, late show, so Eric would, you know, it's, it's kind of like we had an extension from New Orleans mm -hmm. to New York mm -hmm. because of CBS. So I, I think, you know, we want to do something special with our friends. Yeah. That, you let maybe, us know, because we'd love to be a part of it. Right. Um, so one of the things to it, we had, when I founded the Baptiste Carter Arts Academy, Eric is on our wall of fame with all the musicians, him mm -hmm. and Norman Rob. I just mm -hmm. talked to Norman. Mm -hmm. He never saw that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, he never did the tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's on the school wall, he's still there. Wow. I want to ask you this, and they're, and they're <laughs> telling us to wrap, but I, I just want to ask this question just about, um, you know, Eric's, what, what Eric means to, to, to music here in New Orleans. And here's how I ask that question. New Orleans has changed a lot, um, yes. and there is a bare knuckled fight to uh, maintain, retain, sustain the culture. Um, unfortunately, when lives have their sunset, 
and perhaps if they were champions of certain things, you don't have that anymore. How do you think we'll remember Eric's legacy, commitment, and meaning, what he means to music here in New Orleans going forward, going forward well, without his presence? I hope, and I, I'm going to have to think about it and pray on it, but because the morning show, how the format was, mm -hmm. you had like almost a late night, early setting, yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. people woke up mm -hmm. to, to Eric and, you know, mm -hmm. his... his accompanying you know person because it changed over oh, there are so many but yeah. Eric, yeah. Eric constantly stayed and he told me that yeah. he, he said Damon I'm not going anywhere I'm probably gonna you know you know I'll, I'll be here mm -hmm. with the grass mm -hmm. <laughs> you know but 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 the music <laughs> that came on so a lot of people you know like um, uh, almost like Saturday Night Live or something this was the Saturday Night Live for the locals yeah, yeah. yeah. because oh, yeah. people got their new music out mm -hmm. so this was really it so that Maybe it could be renamed, you know, mm -hmm. something with Eric's we'll see. memory, because he, he really loved music that yeah. much, yeah. and he helped out the musicians. Yes. Whatever, doing Jazz Fest, you know, if you got a, a, a Channel 4 morning slot, mm -hmm. that mean that your show could be successful, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Well, I can promise this, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> If nothing else, we'll leave that legacy here for the morning mm -hmm. show, and that will continue to be what we strive to mm -hmm. do. And we yes. won't change and that we one that. bit. No, we you, we you, promise you guys, that. You guys have, and, and I'll be writing to someone to say, guys, is so important. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's it, things have changed because people want to be paid. Mm -hmm. But we came in as, you know, friends because we wanted to do mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. for Eric because what he's done for, for the family. Yeah, right. we'll you know? continue to do that. Yes. And thank you for being thank here. You. No, thank and you. And we're thinking of your whole family. I know it's yeah. it's a loss just for you guys it's, as yeah, it is it's, for it's, us. I'm mm -hmm. still kind of, I'm, I'm really, you know, like I'm saying, another person that, that mm -hmm. we were that this close to. Sure. Yeah. You know, I didn't know he was that old either. I thought yeah. he was really. Yeah, cause, you know. Because he wasn't. He was 25. He was 25. Thank you for being here Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.